All right, welcome back. So today we are going to be getting started making some uh, soccer gameplay mechanics. So we're going to make it to where we can actually gain possession of this ball uh, whenever we touch it or whenever it touches our possession trigger that's on our player. So first thing we need to do is we need to go to the ball and we need to add a motor 60. It's going to be grayed out, but it'll work. I don't know why it's grayed out. Motor 60. This is basically a weld, but what this will allow us to do is basically a weld with more functionality. So we treat it just like a weld. Uh, we're going to set part zero to be the ball and we're going to leave part one blank. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to add a script to the ball and we're going to name this uh, gain possession handler. And we're going to say, we're going to say script dot parent dot touched connect function and pass through hit and we'll say if hit dot name equals possession trigger then we're just going to say print gain possession all right let's press play let's make sure that as soon as we touch the ball it'll say gain possession gain possession beautiful all right so now we need to go to our events folder in our uh, server storage add an event rename it to gain possession go back to our game possession handler and we'll say local ss oops equals game dot server storage and then we'll say game possession equals ss events game possession and so now we will say gain possession fire and we're going to pass through the hit dot um yeah we want to pass through the player so we want to say the hit dot parent dot parent which will give us the player. So we want to pass through the player. And might be it. That's it for now. We'll pass through the ball too. We'll say script. All right, so now we need to go to our events folder for our scripts, add a new script, call this game possession, game possession dot event, connect function, and we're passing through the player and the ball. All right, so now what we want to do is let's just, Let's set that motor 60. Let's set it to be uh, the part one of it to be the player's, um, oh, the player's ball position. Uh, so we'll say, we'll say ball dot motor 60 dot part one equals player character weight for child ball position. And that should that should lock the ball to our player. Let's see. Nope. Character is not a valid member of workspace. Workspace. Game possession six. So player. Oh, I did. I messed up. So game possession handler. Let's just pass through the hit, which is the possession trigger. This is player possession trigger dot parent dot wait for child ball position. All right, let's try that. There we go. So now we have gained possession of the ball. There's no way to to not, or there's no way to lose possession of the ball though. Uh, but that, sh that should uh, give us possession. There's one thing, I wanna try it again. I was actually surprised how the ball went to where the ball position was. Huh, I thought we were gonna need to set the position of the ball, but nope. I think that's all we're gonna do for now. And we can, we'll, we'll almost certainly need to add in well yeah there's some other things we need to do now that i'm thinking about it uh we need to let's do this actually let's say character and we'll say character wait for child ball position go back over here and we'll pass through the hit here um but yeah so it's like some other things we need to do is we need to set the the uh like the bulls the conditionals for the player just to have possession so like what and probably the game ones too. Uh, so go to, let's see what we got. What, what all did we make? We made an RS game conditionals, uh, game active, goal scored. Uh, nope, that's actually gonna be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.